about fall and transitioning your adult beverages to match. One of my favorites is cider, mm -hmm. and there are some really health, uh, good health benefits like antioxidants, and it's gluten-free. Yeah, the craft cider selection at the oldest natural wine bar, Webster's Wine Bar in Logan Square, is all about allowing the fruit in cider to shine unaltered. I stopped by earlier today for Thirsty Thursday. Here at Webster's Wine Bar, there's a lot more than just wine, but before we get to that, let's talk about what you have going on. So tell us a little bit about the place, Tanya. Um, Webster's Wine Bar is the oldest wine bar in Chicago, opened in 1994. We're coming up on our 30 year anniversary next year. Wow. So it'll be a big cheers to 30 years. You're doing something really cool on Mondays, I'm hearing, about this blind we wine are. tasting. It's been a big hit. Um, we only do it on Mondays. You can come in, um, you can play a really fun drinking contest where you get three half glasses of wine and a pen, and you gotta try to guess what they are. You gotta try to guess the vintage, the grape, the country, the region, and we get some very competitive people every Monday. There's one winner, it's okay. on a point system. Uh, you win your money back in the form of a $20 gift certificate so you can come back and play again. And then you have something that is very dear to my heart. I love a good happy hour. Mm -hmm. I love oysters. So you've got something special going on Monday through Thursday, I'm hearing. Yes, if you needed another reason to drink champagne, yes, mm -hmm. um, you can come in um, Monday through Thursday um, between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m., order any bottle of champagne, and you'll get a dozen free oysters on the house. Wine is in your name, but you do a lot more than just wine. Today we're here for something else. Yes, so we, our cellar is full of fermented grape juice, mm -hmm. but you can also ferment apples, you can ferment rhubarb, pears, so these are just some of our ciders that we have currently on our menu, and ciders are making a big comeback. They're, they're delicious, um, these are all, you know, spontaneous fermentation, natural, no additives, no chemicals. Um, some of them, as you can tell, are unfiltered, unfined. Um, and this they, is when they're a little more like hazy like this, yep, right? Yeah, okay. that's when you can't quite see through them. Uh -huh. um, but they're all naturally produced and they're all, they all vary in flavor and texture and um, we're really proud of our cider selection that we have. Oh, well you have great taste, yes. so I, I, I trust you to select anything that I drink. Okay, so let's get to tasting, Tanya. Yes. What's up so first? So one of my favorites that um, we just got on the market not long ago, this is a Patois cider okay. um, from Virginia. Um, husband and wife, they forage um, apples from all their neighbors' um, vineyards. Some of these trees are 80 years old. Um, and so this is one of their, it's 100% apple. Okay. Cheers. Um, cheers. Oh, wow. Isn't that delicious? You can smell I mean, even, even the nose is just like. Yeah, sorry, I started drinking right away, but. No. <laughs> Whoa, I mean, it's mm. apples. It, mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm. Mm. Very effervescent, too. Dry. Yes. Um, I love this. Just perfumey okay. and a really beautiful, wonderful way. Um, but yes, come in. We offer these by the glass. Wow. Um, two different ciders. Um, this one right here is, so we've got Virginia, and then we've got two French ciders. Okay, got you. That was um, the Virginia one. Yes, so this one um, is from France. Which This, this is this, this is the, uh -huh, the Legano. Okay. So you are about to taste um, apples and raspberries. It's 80% oh, apples. Wow. 20% raspberry. So this one is, um, this one's a little more full bodied. Um, it is also very dry, but you get, it's got a little wow. bit more funkiness to it's it. It's a little because, funkier, yep. but not too funky. But not too funky. No. Yeah. And just you know, the right amount of just funk. Just the right amount of funk. <laughs> and that's one of the beautiful things about cider. Mm. It's just like, it's just like wine. You can have so many different flavor profiles, mm -hmm. textures, styles, and it's a, once again, it's a win-win. It's a raspberry bouquet, it's fabulous. And then mm. our last one here. So this is one of my all-time favorites. Mm -hmm. um, this is the Eric Bordelais yes. Biodynamic Farming. Um, he sources these apples uh, from trees that are 200 years old. Wow. And you can really taste the complexity the simplicity 
Mm. And this is the cider that got me into cider. Oh, that is heavenly. Isn't it's, that? There's a depth to it. I mm -hmm. can't quite describe it. There's a richness to it. You know what? And there's like a, it's like gold, like liquid gold. It tastes like liquid gold. Yes. I don't know what that would, that <laughs> liquid gold could taste like something. This is what liquid have, gold tastes like. You'll just like. have to come taste it for it's yourself. It's divine. I yes. love, they all have different levels of effervescence and funkiness and dryness and they're beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Cheers. 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 Love it. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best. Oh, that's a hard job. If you'd right. like to learn more about Webster's Wine Bar and their selections for ciders, head over to their website, websterswinebar.com, or check out their socials. And by the way, if you do come to that blind uh, tasting on Mondays, yeah. the wines that they choose are not on their list. So you oh. can't cheat by like looking through the menu. You really have to know it. Yeah, so you through. drank wine this morning and we have a wine tasting. Well, no, this, this is, is a cider. great day for cider. It's cider. Cider is totally different than wine. Yeah. And totally delicious as well. <laughs> yes.